All right, guys, let me show you this quick little tip um, that has helped me tremendously with building systems in N8N. So I have the system here that every day at 6 a.m. with my schedule trigger, it is going to trigger this workflow that is going to generate me LinkedIn post ideas. The way it does that is it triggers this LLM here that is prompted with basically generating five different ideas, ICP descriptions. So I'll like for SaaS companies, B2B sales, basically saying, hey, I'm an AI agency and I want these posts to be tailored towards them. But when I was building this system, I needed to be able to separate these ideas. So let's go ahead and trigger this real quick and see what happens when it outputs. All right. So it output this big blob of text here. You can see post idea one, post idea two, post idea three. Uh, if you read through it, I already know it works because I've used this system, but I read through it, it works. So I know that my post generator idea creator works. The only issue is I need to be able to separate these ideas. But every time this LLM runs, this costs money every single time that I run it. But I need to have some data here to be able to test my code node that I was talking to my AI, my chat GBT, I think I use Claude for this actually, Claude code, that is going to try and separate this. So when I go ahead and execute it, it works now, but for about the first 10, 15 times that I tried to make this work, it failed. That means every single time I would have to rerun this node here and waste money, time, tokens. But there's this simple thing called pinning data. All you have to do, you can right click on it and you can click pin, or something easier is you can literally just highlight the node, click P. Now this data will run. This whole workflow will run without this node having to run. So I can keep testing this step until it works. Now, obviously mine works now, but nine times out of 10, the first time you try to put in a code node, trying to do something with data, it's not going to work right away. So you just take the error, copy the error, paste it back into the LLM that you're using to generate your code. Keep trying over and over again with the same, we call it test data. That way you're not wasting your tokens, you're not wasting your API calls and things like that. You can focus on just one step at a time.